Hi guys, welcome to Don't Screw Up. My name is David, I'm new here, so hello there. I'm sure we're gonna have a good time, let's go. In the comments, you ladies asked us how to get a boyfriend and not screw it up. And we decided that a boyish approach to the topic would be interesting. So are you willing to have a relationship and get a bay of your dreams? Give him a chance, girl. You sometimes have to be alone because it's very challenging for a boy to approach you when you're always with your giggling squad. Give a chance to yourself. Before you get a boyfriend, you'll have to meet some guys. Parties? Good. Sports and hobby? Nice. Online gaming community? Cool. But you better not engage in something you don't truly enjoy just in an attempt to catch a boy's attention. Humiliating for you and weird for others. So you picked up a victim. <laughs> Kidding. A prince charming. Got all the butterflies in the belly and wet dreams? Great. What to do next? Research. Is he single? What kind of person is he? Is he funny, smart, nice? Use social media and talk to your mutual friend. But do not stalk. Creepy girl. So you've done your little homework. Let's make a move. Start talking to him. Say hi and smile. Sometimes inexperienced and shy guys may not believe in their luck. So you have to show your romantic interest. Some flirting tips for you. One, play with your hair. Two, touch their hand playfully when you talk. Three, laugh at their jokes. Four, lean your body into him when you sit close. Five, let your crush catch you looking at them, smile back at them, and maybe even wink. Keep your flirting simple and don't overdo it. Pay him a compliment. Boys really do love it like everyone else. Like, hi, I liked your presentation today. Nice sneakers, love them. Wow, that shirt really brings out the green in your eyes. You really rock those pimples. Oh, no, 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 that's a bad one. Don't forget to make eye contact and smile while talking. <sighs> I like how you eat bread so much. Texting at night can be intimate and invite flirting. Use this possibility to know him better and show that you care about him. Don't be afraid to tease and to be funny. Use sexy emojis to spice the mood up, but carefully, you know. What the f***? And do not send nudes. It can literally screw your social life up. And if he insists, it's a huge warning sign. <laughs> But what's next? You flirted like a madman or mad woman, but don't even feel a response. How to tell if a guy likes you back? Ah, tough question. So I'll share my and my bro's experience. If one of us likes a girl, he might act nervous, like sweat all over the floor, flush, talk super fast, or stutter. His hands might shake. He might tell dumb jokes and giggle like an idiot. I'm so glad that I wasn't born a dog. But why, Billy? Because I can't speak like a dog. <laughs> Compliments and obvious flirting, you know? Sometimes cheesy and pathetic, but we're trying. You are so beautiful today. But it doesn't mean that you're usually ugly, and today you're beautiful. Oh, sorry. When I was younger, my main strategy was teasing girls I liked, including calling names, pinching, and pulling her hair. Yeah, I know, kind of dumb. But sometimes boys are that juvenile. And that dumb. And it doesn't mean you have to accept and tolerate so-called chivalry. A good sign is that when he talks to you, he texts detailed messages and asks questions. One word answers should warn you that something is not okay. But maybe your crush is a man of few words, or distracted, or upset. So just ask him. What happened with you? Nothing. I'm just a man of few words, and distracted, and also upset. Once I had a fight with my girlfriend, because while texting I was all, okay, good, and she thought I had no interest in her anymore. Uh, the truth was, I was constipated all day, felt really sick, and was too embarrassed to tell her. Ah! Uh, sorry for those details, ladies. Uh, let's keep going. The ultimate and the hardest way to find out if a guy likes you is not for a wuss. Ask him directly. Right in the face. It sounds scary, but in fact, it's very cool and guys appreciate it. 
Because being friend-zoned is one of the worst nightmares for boys, and sometimes we just can't sort things out by ourselves. Do you like me? Yes. <laughs> Say, I like you, and the headshot. Want to go out sometime? <laughs> it was huge. It was intense. Well done, girl. High five. Now we have to deal with two possible outcomes. Either he says yes, and your heart beats like a jungle drum, or you face the rejection. It hurts every time. I know. But on the other side, you're more experienced now, and he? He's just not your guy. Maybe he's not ready for a relationship or doesn't have romantic interest in you. It's okay. It happens. It's not you. You might stay good friends. And there are billions of cool single guys out there. Just keep trying. Don't you ever give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, a good medicine for a broken heart is hard training, a new hobby, and my buddy's support. And junk food. <clears throat> so that's all for today, ladies. Who is your Mr. The Perfect Guy? Tell me in the comments section. Next time, we're going to get you armed and ready for a perfect first date. Leave a like, subscribe, and don't screw up.